it is December 1st, and the sun is like, it's 63 degrees out today. Happy December. Christmas ornaments. Corey and I are just gonna decorate the apartment with some lights, and maybe we're gonna make the palm a Christmas tree. You think we could hang some ornaments from that? Uh, I think maybe. This is our Christmas tree. <laughs> and look how festive the apartment is now. <laughs> Christmas kitty. I saw a quote the other day that said something like, satisfaction is not a motivation and increased satisfaction does not increase motivation. And it's so true. I've been in the low 160s most of the time, which means I've been basically a size 8 for a year and a half now. And I'm so content that I just don't care. I mean, I want to exercise, but I'm still kind of injured. I guess my only priority is to be as healthy as possible. That's the maintenance plan. I think I've said that out loud so many times before, but I don't think I ever really realized it until I started thinking about it now. Now that I really can't be exercising like I used to think I was going to be by the time I got to this point. Happy December, everybody. Robert and I are going out to a very fancy restaurant tonight. It's a place called Mr. Stocks, and I looked it up online, and it was business casual, so I went for the uh, business casual looking fancy spiffy. So now I'm just waiting for him to get home. We're very scared they're going to come to the table next. you thought I wasn't a nerd, I can repair my printers all by myself. Ooh! Slowly disassembling the whole thing. I have to clean the optics. These are what I have to clean. They're pretty dirty. All clean. All clean. All the little mirrors are clean. It is freaking cold out today. Like, not just kind of cold. Like, super, super cold. And I know that everybody in the world probably thinks that that's really chicken shit because it's not very cold out, but I have become accustomed to the nice lukewarm weather of California. <laughs> it feels like the holidays, finally, because I feel like I'm cold all the time. Oh my gosh, look at the moon. You probably can't tell, but that's almost a new moon and the moon is just standing out beautifully against the velvety sky. Today is the 15th and I'm finally recording because I've been in a vacuum of student hell and work hell simultaneously. It's Christmas and it's finals <laughs> and I'm about to rip my hair out. But uh, I got today and tomorrow left and then I'm done. I pulled an all-nighter yesterday. I stayed awake for about 34 hours total. Then I got about, you know, 12 hours of sleep and I'm ready to go do it again tonight. I'm still going to go there and study as hard as possible because I stand the chance of getting almost three A's this semester, which is good. But uh, the one test I have tonight is gonna be the hardest one because she asks the most confusing questions and they're all fucking multiple choice. And I hate that. I'd rather write essays than multiple choice, but whatever.
I'm organizing all my photographs from my whole life um, up until about 2006 when I started going strictly digital and I'm at the very end but it's possibly the most complicated because it's all my trips to Europe that I just never bothered to even start to organize so now it's this. <laughs> this is the best organized I've got it yet and that's about as good as we're gonna do so now it's time to get everything in order in the photo albums. My god it's been a huge project but been years in the making. I'm so excited to finally almost be done. It is like one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, but if it weren't for the lights, you would have no idea. Like, it really means business, and I'm sure you can't tell, but it's pouring it right now. <laughs> it's almost Christmas! No, it really is. It's December, what is it, 21st. Tomorrow we go to Seattle. Oh my gosh, and I am packed nearly there But yes, Corey says I pack like a girl which means I pack way too much But I think I packed just enough and this time. I was very smart. Anyway, we're leaving off we go to Seattle for Christmas Yay! <laughs> of course when there is laundry there is a cat This is what remains of the huge piles of laundry and she's chosen to sit on Corey's pants, as usual. Holy huge rainstorm in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's flooding downstairs in my apartment complex, big time. Holy crap, you wanna come up? We're going to Seattle! We're gonna board in probably 20 minutes and I can't wait. Corey hasn't flown in 10 years. Not since before September 11th, can you believe it? sleep thank god the last three nights i have slept less than four hours each night not by choice i am so exhausted we made cookies all day well no they made cookies all day i made cookies for a while it was super fun though girls just take a picture or whatever that's what i'm gonna do i don't know but we have to take off this out here ah, hallelujah <laughs> Hallelujah. Here, get the muffins. Don't forget to get the muffins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. It's Christmas dinner time. It's <laughs> from... Everything came out at the same time. Oh. I know. Skill. This is the chef of the day, plus the mama. Merry Christmas from the Marshallas, plus Corey. <laughs> plus Corey, who's been sitting on the couch like a typical guy during Christmas preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed this. Right. <laughs> Post-Christmas cards and laptops. <laughs> and Cory is asleep with the puppy. Oh. oh, I'm gonna read and have a crash day today. So this past week I've been taking care of Shanti's cat, Maddie, which is where I'm gonna go now. What's up with me? Nothing. Diet-wise, I have not been tracking for several weeks, and you can see the difference, and I feel the difference. And that's okay, you know, because life is a series of ups and downs, and I've started to realize and think about life in a different way, and that it's not just the diet, it's not just the exercise, obviously, but the whole package. And it feels like, ultimately, I need to start waking up earlier, I need to get on more of a normal schedule. And I do believe that your internal clock does have a direct correlation to your weight and health. Not just getting enough sleep, but just being on a schedule that eliminates a lot of stress. So, just a thought. Taking the ferry from downtown 
Seattle over to Bainbridge Island where one of my best friends lives. And Corey's never been on a Washington State Ferry, obviously, but I just love the view of the city. Look! <laughs> I dream of a summer day. It's six something in the morning. <laughs> We're up earlier than we intended to be for our airplane home because it's snowing. <laughs> when I can close my eyes, see the sun creeping in all sides, my skin browns and grins. I feel, I feel awakened. <laughs> Oh 